Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2021 Toyota Corolla L in this fantastic Celestite color. This front wheel drive four door five passenger sedan comes equipped with a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine mounted to an automatic transmission. Up front you've got that crisp fresh redesigned front end with the very nice headlights, triple J design, the LED daytime running lights and the big projector beam bulbs. As you come around to the side of the vehicle, you've got the 15 inch steel rims that the vehicle currently rides on with the nice Toyota hubcaps and those are wrapped in the Firestone tires. As we continue down the vehicle, you've got that nice compact design along the side profile. And in back here, you've got the LED taillights as well as a great overall design. You also notice just below there, you've got that nice chrome tipped exhaust. Overall, this vehicle is super affordable, practical, and filled with features, so let's go ahead and hop inside and take a look at some of the notable interior bells and whistles. Hopping inside, this reliable ride is nice and easy thanks to the remote keyless entry. Simply hit the unlock button on the key fob and you'll be inside. You've also got the trunk release button there, which is really handy so you can pop the trunk without having to hop in the vehicle. And you've got the nice fold-out key as well. Opening up the door, you're greeted with this very comfortable grey fabric interior. Great looking seats. And just below here, you do have the manual seat adjustments. And if you take a look in the footwell, you'll find the nice Corolla branded mats. And this vehicle also comes with all weather mats if you're looking to switch those out. So let's go ahead and hop inside, fire this vehicle up, and take a look at all the notable interior features. The features inside this Corolla start over here on the driver's side door panel with the controls for the power windows, locks, and mirrors. As an added bonus, all of your windows are one touch down, one touch up automatic. Just underneath here, you do have a little bit of extra storage as well as an extra cup holder integrated into the door panel. And just to the right, you'll find the dimmer switch for the gauge cluster as well as the button to toggle your automatic high beams. That's part of the Toyota Safety Sense suite, and I will show you some of the other features that's included in that in just a little bit here. Over on the steering column, you do have the manual adjustment for your tilt and telescoping steering wheel so you can get it in the perfect position. And if we take a look just behind at the turn signal stock here, you'll notice that this vehicle does come equipped with automatic headlights, which is a great set it and forget it feature. Backing up to take a look at this great looking four spoke steering wheel here, you'll find a very nice design. The nice little split spoke at the bottom there. And you've also got the subtle bolsters up top to give the wheel a nice ergonomic feel. On the left hand side here, you've got the buttons to navigate the screen on the right hand side of the gauge cluster. And we'll go ahead and take a look up there in just a moment. You've also got the Bluetooth hands free calling button. And underneath here, you'll find the volume rocker for your audio system as well as the voice recognition button. Over on the right hand side here, you've got the buttons for your cruise control and it is a radar guided cruise control system, which is another part of the Toyota Safety Sense. And you've got the button to adjust the follow distance just to the left there. And you've also got the button for your lane departure alert, which again is part of the Toyota Safety Sense. Below that, you'll find the audio mode button as well as the two track selector buttons. If we go and take a look up in the gauge cluster there, you've got the screen on the right hand side like I mentioned. You can see at the top there you've got the indicator for if your lane departure alert is on or off. You've also got the exterior temperature and the time. And below that you'll find the digital speedometer and I'll show you some of the other options there in just a moment. You've also got the distance to empty and at the bottom you've got the gear the vehicle is in as well as the odometer. In this first information screen here you've got your digital speedometer as well as the distance to empty and your total average fuel economy. Below that, you've also got the eco indicator here so you can be sure that you're driving fuel efficiently. The next screen over will give you a more detailed look at your lane departure alert system as well as your radar guided cruise control follow distance. So as you cycle through with the buttons on the steering wheel, you can see it adjust in that screen there. Next, you've got your trip screen here, which will give you the trip distance and time. And finally, you've got the settings for your safety features, which includes your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, you've also got some additional vehicle and meter settings. Finally, you've got any messages or warnings that the vehicle has to display. If you take a look over in the center of the dash here, you'll find the tablet style touchscreen infotainment system sticking up from the center here. In terms of your audio options, you do have your standard AM FM radio. You've also got a USB port as well as Bluetooth, so you can be sure that you can listen to your own audio regardless of the type of device that you have. If you hit the menu screen here, you can bring up your menu and of course you can access your phone and projections if you have your phone hooked up via Bluetooth. You've also got the info screen here, which will bring up your trip information, and you can also access your fuel history in the bottom left-hand corner there. You've also got lots of different setup options in the menu here, so you can scroll through and set your preferences to your liking. That also includes valet mode, which is a neat feature. And you've also got the app screen here, which gives you the Entune infotainment app suite there, so you can check that out as well. 
If you put this vehicle into reverse, you'll see the backup camera pop right up, which is really handy. And just below the infotainment system here, we do have a couple of climate vents as well as the hazard lights. As we continue down here, you've got the climate controls for the vehicle. This is a single zone climate control vehicle, but it does come with air conditioning for those hot summer days. And you've also got the heated mirrors for those cold winter days. As we continue down, you've got a nice little tray here, which would be great to drop your phone in. And as we continue down, you've also got the traction control button, so you can toggle that on and off. Then you've got your shifter here, as well as your parking brake. And of course, you've also got a couple of extra cup holders. Then you got a nice padded fabric armrest here, and you can open that up to reveal your center console. It has a nice little carpeted bottom there, as well as a 12-volt outlet to keep the devices charged up. Over on the passenger side here, you do have a nice standard glove box with lots of room inside. And if you take a look over at the passenger side door panel there, you'll find the same great design that we found on the driver's side, as well as, of course, the switch for the, rear, the passenger side window and the power locks. Taking a look up top here, you'll find the interior lighting controls, and that concludes the features up front, so let's go ahead and hop in back and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this vehicle. In the rear of this vehicle, you've got more of that same great gray fabric seating that extends all the way across the rear bench seat. You also find a decent amount of legroom for the rear passengers, and if we hop in, you'll also find a handy storage pocket in the back of the center console for your rear passengers. You can also fold these seats down in a 60-40 split if you have some additional cargo to store. You've got the latch up top there. You can fold the seat down nice and easily, revealing tons and tons of interior cargo space. So we'll go ahead and take a look back there in just a moment, but before we do, we'll take a quick glance at the rear door panel, and you'll find the same great design, as well as, of course, the switch for the rear windows. So let's go ahead and take a look in back here. We'll pop the trunk with the nice trunk release button. And inside here, like I mentioned, you do have the all-weather mats, as well as a nice generous carpeted cargo bay here. And underneath you'll find a spare as well as the tools to change it in case you ever get a flat. That concludes this short video walk around, but this affordable and reliable ride will not last long, so make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota located at 1200 Leadhead Road, or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.